Hey guys, and welcome back to All the Mods 3. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I was just waiting for it to load. Uh, so as you can see, I did bit, I, I dug a little bit of a thing here. It actually worked out quite perfectly for, you know, just going out. Nice. Uh, so we just don't have to, you know, go up and around because I was going down that way. And it, it's whatever. Uh, so we're just going to come up this way. Um, but as you can see, the ore miners are gone. What happened to them? Like, what the crappening? Uh, they're in my pocket. Well, kind of. Uh, you can see there's two void ore miner controller tier three. Yes. Tier three. Oh, yeah. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Trust me. It's going to be good. All right. So we should have everything we need for two of them. If my, if I do math correctly. Hopefully. All done. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, wait. No, I need more of those. Crap. <laughs> crappy. Crappy. All right, so it should be done. Yeah. All right, so, I mean, we could place everything but that, right? Yeah, I saw eight. Uh, if we come in here. Oh, it's not. Okay. Of course it's not. It's not showing there now. Okay. Yeah, I saw this. Uh, every time you do something new with that mod, it replaces the previous one. Uh, so I saw the eight, mul uh, or eight null modifiers, and I was like, I looked at in my inventory, and I was like, okay. I have eight modifiers. Nice. No. No. Just no. Oh, man. This ain't getting anywhere. No okay. We got to upgrade this. Yeah. I think we got to upgrade this. We got to upgrade this, too. Maybe I'll bring the other... Because we got another solar panel in the overworld running the, the resource miners. Maybe I'll bring those in. Or that in okay anyway yeah so we we should be able to place everything but the modifiers and then you know we'll make some more speed modifiers get those all buttoned up and it'll be good it'll be good all right so that should be everything except the modifiers very nice yeah this thing is nowhere near gonna power i mean especially now there's just like no power um yeah i think i think these need to be upgraded so let's go ahead and take those out now and then we will see about upgrading them um i think we're gonna go to redstone like the redstone stuff because why not yeah i mean we gotta come back anyway or at least i gotta come back so i might as well take this out and then bring back the better stuff right right all right, let's go ahead and break that just while we're here. All right. So very nice. That guy's not going to do anything right now. Okay. Ah, this is good stuff. So hopefully this will mean that we can now get the crystals even faster. Uh, because the tier two was doing decent. Uh, I ended up having, it was like just over, th it was like just over 300 of the, the the crystal like the, the 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 highest tier crystal we needed wow words okay um so that kind of hold on how many we got left so you see we've got 51 of the chironite left and then the next crystal we're gonna get uh, i'm not even sure what it is uh but you see we got 560 of that 156 of that so i mean we're doing pretty good um okay redstone looks like we have just enough all right and then we need speed we need eight of those what it's not going to try to make lead gears <laughs> i still have no clue what what like why why it still doesn't make any sense and uh, all of these guys in here have done finished their jobs except for you know like they're they're as they get it, they you know they run it through, uh, but you can see they're pretty much they're all they're all done. So we have lots and lots of ingots up in here. Mm -hmm. That's the way we do. Oh man, look at all the sponges. Yeah, that's that's nice. Look at that. 
68,000 of that. Oh, yeah. 10,000 diamonds. Remember when we were, like, seriously hurting for diamonds? <laughs> you remember that? And now we've got, like, 10,000 of them? Oh, it's good stuff. It's such good stuff. All right. Let's get in here. Let's see if this is enough. Uh, we may have to upgrade. Well, I mean, we're going to have to upgrade the... Um, uh the reactor oh my god uh yeah we're gonna have to upgrade it anyway um but we may have to upgrade it sooner than planned um and i i've heard the the mechanism one is wow is that still not enough power holy crap on a cracker I mean, that's holding steady for now. I don't know how long that's going to hold steady, though. Hmm. What if we did that? Does that... Oh, that's not actually doing anything. And boom. Because that should be, I, I'm pretty sure these guys, they will put out such and such RF per tick per connection. Right? So that's steadily holding at 45k. And that's not going up. That's not going up. Yeah, see, this one's full. And this one's not. So I think that extra connection is actually doing something for us. I bet we are just sucking our freaking... <laughs> I, I guarantee we're sucking our, our reactor dry right now. It, it's absolutely using all the power, right? All right, let's, let's find out. Hello, reactor. I kind of figured that. So we are using more than 14.8k RF per tick. Oh, crap. Um, yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's getting about that time for a for a wee bit of an upgrade there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, because that's going to pull all the power away from all this stuff. So we need to disconnect one of those. Uh, we need to see about upgrading the... We need to find a place. You know what? I think, I think I'm going to tear this guy out. And I'm, I think I'm going to move it to uh, the quarry world. Well, I've got a little something-something laid out up here. I went ahead and disconnected both of those guys. You can see they're both off. Um... But, yeah, I've got a little something laid out here. And I went ahead and made a, a, a better builder's wand. Um, the unbreakable. It's just two sticks and, a, and another star. Because I was sick of making the diamond ones. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm laying out a little bit of a design here. Uh, I think it should work pretty decent. Uh, I know that these, like the the, the fuel rods, it, they they work off each other, you know. And then I'm giving them two blocks of space for coolant between them and the wall. I'm pretty sure back in the uh, uh, the 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 old reactor mod, uh, whatever that was called, I forgot it was what it was called. Big react, big reactors. Um, it was recommended to give three blocks of space between. Uh, the fuel rods and the case. Uh, but I'm just going to do the two uh, for now. Uh, this is, I mean, it's slightly bigger <laughs> than the one we have. I think this, like the internal size here, is about the size of the one we have now and obviously much shorter. Uh, this is a outside diameter. I believe it's a 13 by 13 by 9, let's say 13 by 13 by 8. So it's going to take a lot of 
and, and you know what? We might actually want to look into gelid cryothium. That might actually be something we want to get into. Yeah. Because this, well, this we can make, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we can make that. Yeah, that might be, that might actually I mean it's gonna take a lot. <laughs> like it's gonna take a lot. Because it sinks, and so I would have to go through and fill every single one. Is there like a there used to be a thing that would fill an entire area? Oh my god, what was it called? Flood it was like a floodgate. Floodlight. Yeah, I can't remember what mod that was, though. It was a floodgate, and then, like, it would, you know, you could, like, place it, you know, like, right here. And then it would see, you know, this area, and it would just fill it with whatever liquid you give it. That's, that that would be nice to have right now. Because uh, I don't know how we're going to do this otherwise. Uh, fluid... Is there like a fluid filler? Like that's fluid intake valve. Fluid outtake valve can be installed. Okay, no. Uh, turbine, no. Fluid, no. Fluid outlet. Ooh. Fluid, no. I don't think that's it. I don't think that's it. I don't think that would that would do what we want. Say fluid reactor. Fluid, fluid, no. Regular. Um, fluid gate. Yeah, I'm pretty sure none of this is anything that would do what I would like it to do. No, I don't think no. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, yeah, I don't I don't think there's anything like that in the pack. <laughs> Sorry, I was just like super concentrated on that. Um and as you can see, we're not doing any glass. What's you know what? I didn't even look. How are we in the All right, so we're only using four chunks. That's not bad. We can make it bigger and still use the same four chunks. So that's fine. I mean, obviously we could have put this in one chunk. But whatever. It it's fine. Um, F9. Okay. Yeah, so we, we got to bring this up. And then hopefully we can, f like, fill all these four signs at the same time. That would be super duper. I don't even know if we have enough of the freaking things, but... Boom. All done? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Okay. Now we got to figure out where to put the controller and all of that jazz. I think the controller itself will go right there. So we got, I, I went ahead and built everything for a, just like a brand new complete reactor. So we can get this one online before we take the other one offline. Uh, because we just, we don't want to take the risk of running out of power. <laughs> we really don't. All right. Uh, redstone port. These will just slap like in here somewhere. Um, reactor access. We'll put the. We want all these to be kind of like you know. We want those. We don't want those to cross a chunk border because it's going to have a redstone signal between them. Um, and then I guess these. Well, wherever we put one of these, we got to put the power. So if we do that, that, and then that, that, something like that, and then say this is inlet, this is out. So if we put one of the quantum guys right there, or even right, well, I'm thinking actually right there. We can do items eject this way, and that will give it fuel. And then we can have items go in 
you know, through this side and that will send it back to the system. And then we can just have power come down into it. Although if we do this, boom, done. And then we can just move this guy right here just so it kind of looks better. Boom. Yes, yes. We'll just slap the quantum guy there. We'll have it accept energy from all sides. Output to the left, input on the right. Oh, that's going to be perfect. Oh, that's perfect. That is freaking perfect. Okay, so now the issue becomes... <laughs> Wait, I didn't put those. No. Okay, now the issue becomes filling this up and what we're going to fill it up with. Maybe we could just do jelly cryotheme in the center and then do the ender... Resonant Ender on the outside. Uh, that would take far less buckets. Uh, so we've got, what, three times... Two, three, four, five, six, three times six, 18... Uh, oh my god, math. <laughs> oh my god, what the crap? Okay. Uh, yeah, we've got we've got some, some space to fill here. Uh, let me see how much of that gelid cryothium I can actually make. Uh, because we're going to need quite a bit. All right. So after a little bit of research, I discovered there is a thing uh, that can do what we want or what I want. Uh, you guys may not necessarily want it, but I do. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, there's a thing. Uh, it's called it was actually something we were looking at. Uh, it is the fluid outlet. Yeah. So. The way this works is that is the input, uh, output, output, output. And it will only fill up to its level. But I'm curious. If we do that, will it still fill that side over there? I don't know. And then, like, does it start from the bottom and work its way up? This is all things we need to know. So I went ahead and I got some water, some advanced pipage, uh, and then, no, uh, configurator. So this is going to be push, pull. All right, and then can we... Nice. Oh, that's so good. Then we could empty it and move it. Aha. Oh, that's beautiful, man. Oh, that's so good. Oh, yeah. That's what I... Okay. That's what I was hoping it would do. Uh, we have in here, there's like 90, 96 buckets of gelid cryothium. Oh yeah, this is good. This... Load. Okay, sorry. It just it takes a minute to load. This is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. It doesn't require power or anything, and any little extra it fills in, uh, we should be able to yank back out, right? Uh, so fluid outlet, quantum tank. Uh oh. All right. So I don't. I don't know what was what that crash was about. It crashed every single time I tried to place one of those quantum tanks with gelid cryothium. And I haven't tried a, like a quantum tank with other stuff in it. Um, I know just placing like a, an empty um, quantum tank worked fine because I placed it so that I could fill it. <laughs> so I don't. I don't know what's going on. Uh, but I ended up switching to uh, a portable tank. You see, now it's got Resonant Ender in it. Um, and we should only have one spot left to fill. Uh, so all of these spots are filled to the brim uh, with the gelid cryothium. And then, like I say, we're doing the Resonant Ender around the outside. And, like, and we should, I think. Yep, there it is. Woo, there it is. Freaking boom. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Okay. 
now for this. So this, we're going to stick right there. We're going to set it to two cent. Energy uh, will be... All right, which one is the back? All right, we'll just <laughs> we'll just accept energy on any on any side. How about that? All right, and on on the right side, it will be in, left side out. Right? Right. Okay, so this thing should be full of power. Well, I mean, obviously it's full of power uh, because it's getting power from the other side. Should have. All right, so I'm hoping we can just do that. Really, does it need a freaking servo? Wait, what? Uh, uh, let's go ahead and load these chunks. Uh, claim. Wait, why aren't you? Uh, why, why no freaking load, man? Why can't I load chunks? Uh, uh-oh. <laughs> are you serious right now? I mean, those are loaded, but it doesn't say. Load. Maybe it just doesn't. Maybe it just automatically loads claim chunks now. Shift left click to load a chunk. Shift right click to unload a chunk. I have no clue what's going on. Freaking FTB utils. All right, so. That's definitely not getting it. Is this getting anything at all? Because there's supposed to be stuff coming through there. Like, I set it up on the other side to receive. Uh, it's probably a mistake. Holy freaking slow. Hmm. I think our best bet is going to be ender chests. We'll have an ender chest going in, ender chest coming out. I mean, that's about the best I can think of. The ender chest going in, we'll, we'll call her yellow, and the one coming out, we'll call her blue. Yeah, that's about the best way I can think of doing that. All right, so I think everything should be set up. Uh, this guy should auto-eject, hopefully, into here. If not, uh, we'll we'll figure that out. <laughs> uh, but this guy, you can see, is full of uranium, which is full in here, which means this entire thing is full of fuel. Uh, we do have the redstone guys over here. Uh, this one, we're going to be input set from signal. Yeah. And then this one, actually, you know what? I want to see how much power before we, we get into that. Okay. Only 100% fuel reactivity? Or, well, no. We got to turn it on for that. Too. Okay. So, like I said, it's full of full of fuel. Uh, so, yeah. Holy freaking heat. 65,000, 500% fuel reactivity, 12 millibuckets a tick. Holy crap. <laughs> so 60, that's a bit of an upgrade from 16, or was it from 14,000 to 16,000? Um, active while below. We're going to do the same thing. Actually, you know what? We're going to do 70. 
because that seems like a better thing to do. It's going down quick. Like, that's going down quick. <laughs> like, serious. And that doesn't even have... Uh, did I really? Uh, no, I did. Okay. Phew. <laughs> I was like, did I really put those in the freaking system? All right. Let's connect these back and see what this thing... Ah, good stuff. I mean, it's... It's getting freaking power. I mean, now what are we looking at over here? Oh, come on. Wow. Holy crap. That is losing power fast. Like, holy crap, kind of fast. Like, holy crap. Okay, so hmm. 70, like it does, it never gets up to full power. Ooh, look at that, though. Yeah. 600% fuel reactivity. Energy buffer. All right. All right, so I think the only, really the next step that we need to do is get some kind of like energy buffer, right? Just some kind of giant, and people were saying, I think it was RF tools, RF tools, energy, something or others. Is it these? No, these? Yeah, these. Yeah, these are the guys that people were saying I should use advanced. So we got, let's see. Store power, 1 million RF. 4 million RF. 2.5. Is that really the best? That, that, that... So the advanced is the best. I see. Uh... Okay. So I mean that's something we can we, we can look into. I do have the auto crafting for the mechanism power storage doohickeys. Uh these. I have it set up all the way up to ultimate. And that can hold one point or er, hundred and twenty eight million joules or hundred and twenty eight MJ. Something? <laughs> uh, but I don't think this acts as like a multi-block and I use air quotes there um, whereas the RF tools power cell uh, apparently does so it'll it'll act as a it'll reduce long distance power extraction cost increase RF that we're not really worried about optionally in a big multi-dimensional structure whatever um I think if we just slap a bunch of them on here, <laughs> we'll be okay. You know what I mean? I think it'll be good. Oh, that is so good. We got we got all the freaking power now. Uh, I don't know how long our fuel is going to last, though. So that might be a bit of an issue. Um, we need to upgrade these. We need to get like an ultimate top tier solar panel in here, I think. And then see if we can just disconnect the whole thing uh, from the main power. Because if we can do that, like, all the stuff at our base is already draining enough power. We don't need more stuff draining even more power. Um, sorry. I just, I, I stop talking every time I load through that place. <laughs> so, uh, let's see, uranium. I mean, we're at 10.2k. Oh, you know what? I gotta stop. Uh, this. Right. Uh, I was doing that for niter. So how much niter do we have now? <laughs> 2.3k, not bad. All right, so Chironite. Okay, uh, Crystal, we're not going to have many more than, if any, more than what we... Oh, look, we're getting the Palladiums. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I understand that the reason it's using so much power over there. Kind of thinking about just disconnecting this one altogether. Um, yeah, the reason it's using so much power over there is because of all the speed upgrades. Um, it's just, we should be able to just disconnect this one altogether, and then we can just, like, get rid of it altogether. Or we could use this one to power stuff at the base, but we've already got this guy here. That's set for two, so it powers everything. So... But that's what I'm saying. Like, we're pulling enough power. Yeah, here's what's left of the jellied cryothium. Okay. Chat. That thing. This thing we had. This thing. It, it did work. Uh, but it was much faster, unfortunately, to place it all by hand. Uh, quantum entangler porters. Uh, impulse item duct. So there we go. We did a thing. A thing has happened. This is Wait, that's producing more power? Wait, what? Didn't it say twenty some K? I'm not too sure what it just said there. I was seeing things, I think. But that is that is good stuff. That is something we needed to do. Uh, well, I mean, especially now that we've got that, you know, those two tier three freaking ore miners out there doing work. Have we got anything? Looks like we got two more of those already. Oh, this is going to be sweet. We're going to start getting these things like hand over fist. It's going to be crazy. And then we're going to be able to upgrade everything. Uh, but the top tier freaking solar. Oh, God. I don't even want to know what that costs. Uh, tier six, which is Atheum. Which is tier five. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 going to be a minute. That's going to be a minute. Um, I mean, obviously, as we step up in tiers, uh, things will start coming a lot easier. But it's just getting to, you know, from one tier to the, you know, to the next that causes all of it. We need to reprocess this freaking cyanite, dude. Look at this cyanite. We'll get to that. All right, guys. I think that's going to do it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. And I will see you all next time.